Hello y'all. Welcome to part 28 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod, Kaiser Redux. In part 27, the Sultanate of Mankind brought Russia into the fold, as well as Deutsche Middle Africa, the Union of South Africa, and Ireland and right now let's have our troops move from Ireland to we have a naval battle result there to battle the western approaches we sunk some ships let's move the 19th army out of their positions from England and send them down to Italy and the Mediterranean actually no we'll station them in Greece yeah let's do that let's also move some ships from England well from the western approaches they're gonna be split up and they're gonna go to the central Mediterranean, where one fleet is, and the other is going to head to the, where? Going to go to the eastern Mediterranean. And the reason why I do this is so that the, are they still in the western approaches? What are they doing? I gotta send them, oh my goodness gracious. Get rid of this order. The reason why I gotta do this is so that the troops we have for our army moving to Greece is so they have naval supremacy to attack the countries of Malta and Crete. So we're having our units move down there. And let's actually set up a naval invasion order. We have, okay, yeah, let's do that. Just focus, just checking in on other stuff. We're winning everywhere, essentially, for the most part. And let's go to the 19th army now. Well, not, are they the 19th army? It gets a little confusing. There's so many armies we have to look after. So let's get three divisions, no, five divisions will go toward Crete, and five divisions will go toward, they will land in Malta. We'll do that, and it'll set up there. So five divisions for each island, basically, and by invading Malta and Crete, we will get one step closer toward taking over the world, essentially. And how are we doing with the ships? Have they arrived yet? I think they both have. And let's have the Sultan of Mankind Fleet 2. Well, the Sultan of Mankind Reserve Fleet, whatever. Send them out now, get to the Central Mediterranean Sea. I think we have some naval support helping out those ships, possibly. And checking over in Asia, we are advancing quite a bit. We're facing the Brotherhood of Eurasia, which is led by the Empire of Japan. We're also fighting in India and Afghanistan. We gotta take the capital of Afghanistan. We're trying to. Somehow, what in the world is going on in Africa? The Kenyan Ugandan Free State is just, they're not going down. But fortunately, once we take their capital, they should be beaten. And we're trying to focus also, besides everything else going on, we're focusing on the American theater. We are pushing into Texas. We push into Texas. We got Oklahoma. But we are facing some counter offensives that are trying to see us kicked out of Mexico at this time. In part 27, we started getting negative manpower we're over a billion manpower and a few of our air wings well our, our squadrons kind of glitched out i'm not sure what causes this but they're like crazy massive now for some reason like you know a squadron with 25,000 fighter planes that's something i will say i don't know how i'm gonna use those but they are a thing and we're done in the kenyan okay we beat the kenyan ugandan free state now let's take all their territory, pass, pass, take all states. There we go. Let's move the, where can these guys go? Take the 5th Army and send them to, since we're done in Africa, take them to Asia? No, send them to the USA. Send them to the Americas and have them advance into the territory of the Pacific States of America. Just so we can have some advances there and just try to stop them from advancing more into Mexico. So go for Sacramento, all those fun places on the west coast of the former USA. Unassigned divisions. Great. Where are these guys? Oh, they're actually a whole new army. That's good, I guess. So let's add them to the 23rd Army, fighting in Asia. That brings that whole force up to over 300 divisions in one commanderless army. Let's have a front line here, drawn up. Do this. Or not. Never mind. Hold on, I gotta fix that. So let's draw the front line up here. No, that's impassable terrain. It's a little awkward. Do it now. 
No, that doesn't work either. My goodness, I do not like impassable terrain. Okay, just keep them focused on what they're doing. On their push in Manchuria and in Mongolia. Just have them push there more, I reckon. Okay, we'll do that. That works for me. And let's just fight there against Japan and its whole host of allies. It has so many allies. It's absurd. And how are we doing in Afghanistan? We gotta take the enemy capital. Not going too well right now. Let's move those air squadrons we have in Africa out of there and send them to Afghanistan and build up this air base in build it up in Persia. Where are we at with construction? Build this air base up. Get it done. Build up air bases. Not too many air bases. I may go too crazy with that. I don't think I'll need like 20 of them in one place. In one region. Let's build up. I mean expand on the one already here. As well as the one there. So we'll get them to level 10. Or just close to it in general. There we go. That's being done now. And we may need to move. Let's just get these huge massive squadrons out of the area. They're just a huge. I cannot supply them. They can't be efficient. So just move them to Russia for now. They'll just sit there and do something. Can I just disband them? I may just do that. So let's choose to disband these air wings. Can we do it? I want to get rid of them. I need to disband this air wing. How do I do that though? Oh, wait, yeah. Send the stuff to the reserves. That's done. How do I get so many fighters? I don't get it. I don't know where I got the fighters at. Crazy. Just disband them. There we go. Send all their stuff to the reserves. That works for me. And send these close air support planes to. Yeah, just disband them also. Get rid of them. At least we can use their planes now for other stuff. I don't even know what made them do that glitch or bug. I didn't. I sure didn't give them that many planes, but that's what's happened. That is what happened as I was playing. Where's the planes at though? Close air support. Close air support. Where is it? I don't see no thousand some planes. I'm not seeing it. Oh well. Just get tons of planes together though. That's too many. I need only a hundred. Hundred close air support would be nice. Hundred close air support. Get it done. Come on. A few more planes. There we go. Now push. Not enough manpower. Oh no, we're in negative manpower land, yeah. So we can't do nothing with that. And let's declare war now on Crete and on the Malta, Maltese, and invade those islands for the assault of mankind. We should have a victory there. How are we doing in Mongolia? We. What are, what are our troops doing? What are you guys doing? You're really not following the. Oh my goodness gracious. This is a disaster isn't it? So we need to get a new front line. We don't need a new front line. Just fix the one you have. My goodness. Just step up. Just go to this. Oh, no. Just delete all the orders. That's such a mess. Great. So we lost some ground due to that whole debacle. Fix it up, though. Push, though. Advance. Hold back the Mongolians and their huge amount of allies. The Russian national state, despite being dead, has decrypted our cipher. They're part of the Entente faction, so that's why that may have happened, possibly. How are we doing in Crete? It did not pan out, I think. It sort of failed. But that's awkward. Do we need planes? What's the problem here? How many divisions are defending? Oh, no. That's not good. We need to make nuclear bombs, don't we? Great. Well, this is a concern, isn't it? So let's actually take these, plant, these troops here and try to navally invade multiple parts of the island, I guess, for Crete. We can't really do that with the Maltese, so I guess we'll just put tons and tons of divisions on one order and hope it works. Yeah, that's about all I can do with the Maltese. So five divisions there, four divisions here. Let's put tons and tons of divisions on a order to try and take Malta and hope that just overwhelms their defenses. That's about all we can do. Maybe also move some stuff in that can support them. So we have 20 divisions on one, 19 divisions on one naval order. Where is our reserves at? Right here. Move them to Malta and just watch them so we can, they can back up the troops. That's all done now. We are continuing to advance into Afghanistan, I think. 
or not, whatever. It's going somewhat well, I reckon. And how's the push into the USA going? It is really falling apart, hasn't it? We just got nuclear reactor researched. All right. And we're still in negative manpower, so clearly the result, what I need to do is keep launching frivolous attacks and hope I can get, I don't know, back into positive manpower. I'm not sure, really. I'm really, I, I don't know what to say about it. We did get nuclear reactor researched, so let's start building tons of nuclear reactors all over Europe so we can get tons and tons of nukes for the solid of mankind eventually in the long term. There we go. Tons and tons of nuclear reactors. Way too many of them. Way too many of them. Overkill. Once they start making nukes. And let's start researching that now. That will take about a year. And let's get experimental rockets. Get radio operation. And all that is done. Good. And I really hope, I wonder if the negative manpower is affecting our unit's abilities to reinforce themselves. I really hope it, is, it isn't. And it looks like syndicalists have taken Washington, D.C. So now we're going to be facing more of them in, well, in the USA. We should be able to overwhelm them. And a bunch of Federalist troops are holding out in Missouri. And they're probably going to be destroyed at some point because they're cut off from everything else. So, oh well for them. Why are we having so much problems here fighting these enemy troops? Oh no, organization. It's always organization. But at least it's organization. I thought it was manpower issues. We should not be having manpower issues. Unless it's some wacky stuff going on due to the negative manpower. I really hope it isn't though. Can we just defeat Afghanistan? They are really holding us up here in our drive toward, toward well. I need, I need a new order for these guys here. They need a different order. They need a... Do they not even have a front line? What's the deal? They, oh, yeah, they were trying to go toward Crete and stuff. Oh, no. Well, that's going to try and launch that now toward Crete. Get it done. I hope those troops can land this time. And they can accomplish that. I'd be impressed. Come on, guys. You just got to take Crete. It's just Crete. And I can't give you any planes because of negative manpower issues. Do we have any squadrons just sitting around that aren't doing anything? We have some planes in... I guess we'll get them strategic bombers. I don't know. That's all we can really send to really do anything here to back them up. Do strategic bombing operations. Don't know. Maybe get somewhere with that, maybe. And our troops are going to land in Crete at one air base or place to just land. They landed there. Now push and go toward the capital of Crete. Get that done. I beg of you. Now let's send some more divisions toward Crete, maybe. Come on, get toward the capital. You just need to push there. Get on the order, you got the drill. And our troops are moving toward, I believe, yeah, 17 divisions are gonna try and navally invade. Naval invasion of, oh no, we need to give like 20 divisions to the whole invasion force, don't we? Yeah, I guess we'll try to do that. This is not working with Crete, isn't it? It's not, it's not working at all. Crete, I mean for, Malta, it's going slightly better than it did last time. We have naval support even, which is not making too much of a difference. There's just so many troops in one place on these islands. Goodness gracious, this is absurd. We're not going to be able to push them out of the islands. Oh no, it looks like we're advancing into Mongolia. That's good. Let's try to take their capital. Aim to take their capital at some point. And kick them back. How is America going? It is going slightly better since we've started sending more troops there to fight the factions of the conflict of the American Civil War. Get these units moved up here. Keep advancing. How is Malta doing? It is. It was a disaster. So was the one on Crete. Okay, so let's actually get more troops on the naval invasion order for Malta this time. So how many troops can we have? 50 divisions. That will take a lot of time, but it's whatever. We have time to wait. We'll be attacking with, what is this now, 50 divisions into Crete. And if they can resist that, we have problems. And that will take a lot of time to get ready. How are we doing in India? We are not getting very far. Supply is a huge issue here. I need to build up, I need to build railroads, don't I? I do, yes. Build all this up, build it up, build it up, build it up, build it up. It's probably not gonna be built very soon because of the whole nuclear bomb thing. 
Gonna move to the top though. And can we just do this? There we go, yeah. Get this stuff all built up and leveled up to help our advance in Asia. Our advance into Asia. And hopefully the infrastructure improvements should help our drive into these places. Can we level up the supply hub? I don't know. Let's keep building up stuff though. Get it all done. There we go. Get it all constructed. And all that is underway. And we're trying here to get all this leveled up in a practical way. Just get it leveled up. Get the best get the best railways we can build. That's all I can say. And we have some stuff sunk in English Channel. There's Japanese subs in English Channel. What in the world? That surprises me. Well, I'm going to end part 28 of my Rene Gunan Morocco playthrough in Kaiser Redux here. If you like the mod, you can check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Have an awesome day.